Amanda, and we have a very special guest on the phone, United States Senator Joe Donnelly. Senator, thank you so much for getting up this morning and taking time to be part of the Notre Dame Day celebration. Oh, thank you so much. Go Irish. Go Irish. I know Notre Dame has been a big part of your life. You are what we call a double domer. You earn two degrees from Notre Dame, and you even met your wife here. So absolutely, I have to ask you, what are your fondest memories of Notre Dame? But I think you're kind of under obligation to respond meeting your wife, right? <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> but right, it would so also be true. To that. <laughs> and, uh, the, the other part was, uh, it, you know, I, I happen to live in a dorm, Holy Cross Hall, that is actually no longer uh, in existence. It was on the other side of the lake, off on the hill. And back in the time when I went to school, I graduated in 77, you would get a pamphlet before you uh, uh, headed out to Notre Dame, and the pamphlet would list the dorms, and they would be listed actually by price. And uh, Holy Cross Hall was the cheapest dorm on campus. <laughs> Cheapest dorm on campus, maybe, but I'm sure a place where it was, I think it was Carroll Hall was always the one that they said it's far away from everything, but it's where some of the best memories are made for those individuals who have the opportunity to live there and take advantage of, of the view, I guess. And since you're a senator from Indiana, we know you get back here to campus very often. What makes you most proud of your association with Notre Dame on your trips back? Do you hear something? Just the amazing things that the people are doing and the accomplishments that you see all the time. Wave to me if you hear me. And uh, uh, Dublin, the, Dublin, do you hear South Bend? Wave to me if you hear the, me. The uh, uh, amazing things that yes, our people hear you. are Okay, good. Just want to make sure you were hearing us. Thank you very much. You'll be on next. All right, as a Notre Dame alumnus, I know you're very familiar with the iconic phrase, God, country, Notre Dame. As a United States Senator, you have a unique perspective on the potential and the impact of Notre Dame and its alumni can have on this country and around the world. Can you talk a little bit about what you've seen in your experience? Sure, everywhere I go, I see Notre Dame folks. I was in Afghanistan with our troops and this young lady came up and uh, talked to me and she was in the process of working with some of the tribal elders and some of the provinces in Afghanistan, and it turned out she was an Army ROTC graduate from Notre Dame, has uh, done amazing things in her career, and that's through every different area, whether it is medical research, whether it is finance work that is trying to bring a uh, more effective, more responsible finance system, and so Notre Dame's spirit, Notre Dame's um, beliefs permeate throughout the world. And I know we have a couple of other Notre Dame grads on the Hill. I think they might be Republicans. Does Notre Dame help bring you guys together? Oh, yeah. We don't ever worry about uh, Republican or Democrat. It's actually um, what bonds us all together is that we want to be Southern Cal. So. That's right. Hey, that's, that's a good common denominator. And how do your fellow senators treat you during the college football season? Well, um, they never come up and say much when we win, but when we lose, they uh, they are all there ready to talk to me about it. But, Isn't that crazy uh, how that it's, works? It's yeah. great to be part of. All right, and care to make a prediction on the upcoming football season for the Irish? Well, it looks to me like we're going to have a great year, and uh, I, I just have to say to all the young people who, uh, who are involved in our sports, uh, the women's basketball team in Muffet just had an amazing year. I saw yesterday that the lacrosse team won the ACC uh, uh, tournament. And so we're incredibly blessed to have wonderful young people who are such great uh, uh, athletes, such great people, such great students. Um, it, it, there's no words that could ever uh, explain what Notre Dame has meant to our state and to our country. It really is a special place, and I know you probably join me in, the, uh, in taking great pride in the proud to be ND statement. So thank you so much, Senator Donnelly, for taking time to be part of this Notre Dame Day celebration. We're so glad you could join us. Thank you so much. All right, and now we're going to